I'm trying to close this garage door and when I hit the button on the control unit on the wall, the door won't close and the overhead light will flash 10 times. But if I press and hold the button on the control, the garage door will go down without any issues, for as long as I hold the button. But as soon as I release it, the door goes right back up. And when it stops, the overhead light flashes 10 times once again. And this is a typical error code for the safety sensors having some sort of problem. So first of all, you need to make sure that the emitter sensor is glowing orange, like here. And if it doesn't, you can do a voltage check with the multimeter, and I will show you how later on. The other sensor is a receiver, and it should be glowing steady green. But this green is not steady and blinking, probably because of some kind of obstruction in between the emitter and the receiver. And sure enough, here's a broom that I left here on purpose, which partially blocks the signal in between two sensors. And as soon as I remove it, the receiver is glowing steady green. And that's how it's supposed to be. But this obviously is too easy. What if the receiver is flashing green light, but there is nothing in between two sensors? In this case, you need to make sure that both sensors look each other in the eye, so to speak in a straight line because the bracket it sits on may get bent if you accidentally hit it with something heavy like a garbage can. Also make sure that the lens is not pointing too high or too low, which may happen if the wing nut got loose. So tighten it in a straight line by hand first and then secure it with a pair of pliers. Then look at the lens itself. It could be covered in dust, spiderwebs, uh, maybe even some paint, so clean it up as needed. If the sensor continues to blink, there could be an intermittent wiring problem. A couple of wires may have gotten loose and the wire nut came off, like here, for example. So tighten the wires and screw the wire nut back on. And that may fix the blinking problem. But what if the green and the orange lights are staying on as they're supposed to, but the door will not go down? In this case, the rail track may have gotten bent or loose somehow. So grab it with your hand and give it a shake. This, however, can be dangerous, so if you are not comfortable doing it yourself, please don't. Check the other track as well, and if it is loose, you will need to secure it to the wall once again. And now let's go back to the emitter that's supposed to glow orange. And if it's not, like here right now, check the wires coming out of the sensor, maybe they are damaged. Also check wire connections under the wire nuts and make sure they are tight. And if they are, you can do a voltage test coming into the sensor. Set your multimeter to volts DC. On a basic multimeter, it should look something like this. And put your leads on two wires that used to be under the wire nuts. If you see about six volts, but the orange light on the sensor is not working, you need to replace both sensors. In my case, all I see is 0.0 something volts, which is basically nothing. And that means my problem is in the wire going up the wall. The wire could be cut and damaged, or maybe the motor unit on the ceiling is not even sending that voltage to the sensor. So let's test it out. Remove the plastic shield cover, and here you will see a typical electrical setup for many garage door openers. The red and the white, two terminals on the left side, are for the control unit on the wall. But I don't need it now, because it has power. The other two terminals on the right side are for the sensors that don't work, so I will need to concentrate on them. You can press on the release buttons on the bottom and release the wires one at a time. I pre-released them earlier, so I can work with one hand and record the video at the same time. And with the wires out of the way, I can check the voltage from the white and the grayish black terminals. And if you still don't see about 6 volts, you may have to replace the receiver logic board. But since I have 6 volts here, but don't have the voltage at the sensors, my problem most likely is the wiring. And if I install a new wire, the problem should be fixed. And if you found this video informative, hit the like button and thanks for watching.